What's up? This is Quark2448. We're following tonight to 17 Heavy Rescue video. Today we'll be en route to overturn dump truck just down the road from us. It took the turn too sharp, rolled over, caught the trailer, and a skid steer is underneath it. We'll be bringing the Western Star Twin Steer Rotator over to the scene. Police are there blocking off the road and fire has already left since there were no injuries, which were good. We'll be turning the Western Star Rotator on and our lights and we'll be making our way over there. I'm very excited to be back here doing the heavy rescue. I have haven't done one in I believe a month so that's a pretty long time I will be doing plenty more of these but we do have to use this rotator to lift the dump truck up and off the skid steer and the trailer it sounds like the trailer completely went right up against the dump truck when it did crash so I mean we do have a ton of work and there is sand all over so the public works did drop off our front loader for us to use to put all the sand back into the dump truck for us to bring back since the company did ask us to salvage as much of of the sand as possible. And you guys can see this Western Star Rotator is pretty big and I am currently in the process of kind of retexturing a ton of mods to have the Square 2448 logo but as you guys can see we have arrived here at the scene. Take a look at that. Looks like the local sheriff's is blocking off the road. I will actually have sheriff skins ready for the brand new Square Farms map. I think we'll park up right over here. Take a look at it. So it looks like from the looks of it they were kind of coming from the street we just came on it they were coming so fast that they couldn't make the turn the truck uh, went over then the trailer came all the way around and got jammed underneath it with the JCB and take a look at that guys looks like there is some sand here in the dump bed but there is a ton on the ground so I mean a ton of cleaning up we will have to do you guys can see it looks like we have the cat loader here and we have the international mid-size wrecker which I will call we'll be using this probably for the trailer and then the rotator for the truck so I think first off let's kind of take a look at it I think that if we kind of just pull this trailer out of the way might work but at the same time we do want to stabilize the dump truck from rolling back over just so that it does not roll over onto skid steer cause more damage to it because it looks like there's not too much damage done to it so I think we'll be doing that if you guys would like to see more heavy rescue videos here on the channel let me know down below in the comments I'm very excited for doing these these are a ton of fun and I really do enjoy kind of responding to these doing everything with tow trucks so I do appreciate all of the feedback so next I do want to switch over here I want to extend out the stabilizers then we'll be lowering it down as you guys can see and that is pretty cool actually we might have to drive for just a little bit so we'll kind of uh, bring these back in just a little and I, yeah that looks to be good just about there we do need a little bit of room to kind of get the other tow truck in it to kind of pull that trailer out so we we're actually pretty good safe distance away especially since if this was to roll over we do not want to be in the path we will let it roll over it does want to but for now we do need to kind of get it stabilized and I really don't like having the boom lifted up too too much because it does make it a bit trickier and I mean it's a little scary using this uh, very expensive truck I believe that these trucks are like a half a million dollars these road Rotator. So I mean they aren't cheap at all and we definitely do not want to damage it since our company only has one. I hope you guys are having a great day today. Let me know how it is down below in the comments. My day is going awesome and I hope yours is too. As you guys can see, let's take a look, look at it. It looks like we are attached. Yeah, so take a look at that guys. We are actually attached to it, which is perfect. I think we'll probably keep this right about here. We do not really want it to roll over. We just want it to stabilize it from rolling over on us as we do it move it away so up next we want to come over here to the international and you guys can see I do have this uh, truck I did make an edit of wood metal farming's tow truck and I did put this uh, cab and this wrecker body on it which is pretty cool we do want to extend out the tow bar all the way just because I do want to stay pretty far distance I mean this is a pretty expensive truck and we do not want this to be damaged also so you guys can see we're just kind of trying to move over it but it looks like the sheriffs are doing a pretty good job Job. They have this entire section of the road closed down for us, which is very much appreciated because we do not want to be working here. Very 
intense, challenging accent with uh, lots of people coming by. As you guys can see, we are now attached to it, so it's going to pull forward just a little bit. You guys can see it's actually not moving on us, the dump truck, which is perfect. We'll be rolling that over by itself with the rotator. We'll come back over here. I do want to hop here in the skid steer. Looks like not much damage. The bucket definitely got damaged. It's just a few scrapes and a bent bucket. But other than that, it looks like the trailer is okay. We'll definitely have to get new wheels just because, I mean, those pretty much did get destroyed yeah take a look at that and new ramps those ramps pretty much are broken so i think next up we'll just have to pull this out you guys can see it looks like we have a collision problem there i do apologize for that but we are making it work you got oh take a look at that a little too close there so i think what we will have to do is hop in the loader we do not want to hit our very expensive half a million dollar tow truck We'll be backing this up. That looks to be good. We'll probably keep that on since, like I was saying, we do want to salvage as much of the sand as possible. Sand right now is pretty expensive. And you guys can see, actually, we will have to really just reposition our truck. That's the only way it's really going to work. So that's fine. A little bit of repositioning will definitely save us in the long run with just trying to keep maneuvering around our truck. But we'll definitely reattach, you guys, and see which we are now. And it looks like we should be able to make it. And you guys can see doing a pretty good job there so I think let's kind of take a look at where do we want to kind of keep it I think we'll just kind of pull it off to the side here right here for now but you guys can see let's see if we can get those ramps to work looks like the ramps are working they are actually going up which is perfect but I mean like we're saying they are bent they are damaged and they definitely have to be replaced but I think we'll probably just keep this right here keep it running you guys can see all the LED lights are on which is pretty cool in this heavy rescue series I actually did start back in FS15 so this has been around for quite some time and I really do enjoy doing it so let's now see if we could use a rotator to roll this back over I do have it attached to the hitch there but take a look at that it looks like a ton of sand even someone all the way over here so wow that is a lot of cleanup we'll have to do but we'll hop back in this you guys can see we are lifting it up take a look at that guys are we going to be able to roll it over let's take a look at that guys awesome job this rotator is pretty cool we that was a little unrealistic there for a moment, but other than that, guys, we made it work very simple once we did move the trailer out of the way. And like I was saying, I wanted to stabilize the dump truck. I didn't want it to fall as we did pull it away just because we could have damaged the skid steer or even damaged uh, the trailer more than what it was. So that's trying what I was doing was to kind of prevent more damage once we do get attached to the tow truck we will be loading up all the sand back into it it looks like we should be able to do that but i will actually be trying to squeeze by this police car really fast to kind of turn around here you guys can see doing a pretty good job wow very close but i mean that was pretty good as we are kind of doing that i will be getting this into position ready for towing that dumb truck but wow very challenging we did do it very safely and like i was saying guys this is a game we can't be too realistic but at the same time I do strive to be the most realistic we can possibly be and I can't wait for Farming Simulator 19 that's going to be one epic game very exciting and it does come out this fall so you guys can see we repositioned ourselves which was perfect and we'll now just be backing up and attaching and like I was saying earlier we can only attach to the hitches here in Farm Sim for our tow trucks you guys can see we got it attached we'll just pull forward just like that that looks to be good we'll have to chain it down every Thing like that next up we'll be hopping here in the cat loader we do have strobe lights on and take a look at that that is pretty cool this is one of the public work ones and this actually came out quite a long time ago almost I believe this is a reskin of one of the in-game ones but you guys can see we definitely have to scrape up all of the sand here on the grass and I can't wait to do heavy rescue videos on the new map and we actually did get a new shop for heavy rescue which is combined with a repo and a towing company so I do recommend you go check out that that was one pretty cool video and setting it up and I do appreciate all of the support here on the daily videos I really do enjoy doing daily farming some videos these are a ton of fun and you guys really make it exciting I do want to scrape up that little piece looks like we are unable to do that but wow those police lights are pretty epic flashing all over but it looks like for the most part it didn't spill too much out which is good at the same time but also sometimes we probably should be unloading it just because it might make it a little bit easier and safer for the rollover but wow we'll have to do a 
ton of cleanup. We don't really respond to too many accidents like this. So, I mean, these are pretty rare occasions. But at the same time, we do get to do many different things along with just respawning. We get to use front loaders and cool things like this. And you guys can see, doing a pretty good job. That high reach bucket really does make it helpful because that dump truck is pretty tall. I would also like to thank all of the modders for making these epic mods like Wood Metal Farming which made the rotator and that red dump truck over there and all the other ones for making these epic mods. I really do appreciate them but you guys can see those police lights are epic lights. I really do like the reflection a lot and a few of you guys have asked me how do your lights reflect and you actually have to go into the farm game settings and if you do have a strong enough PC you can actually enable it but it looks like we have one more bucket load left and then we'll be able to kind of head back over to the shop so I mean that is pretty cool that we'll be able to do that and I think we'll probably kind of select it back down here to hop in the other tow truck and we'll probably drive that back also but wow we got this road pretty much opened in no time at all we just kind of move the police cars over to the side and let me know guys should I do some multiplayer heavy rescue I think multiplayer is a great aspect of farm sim especially doing some heavy rescue I mean that would be very interesting You guys can see I am scraping up the last little bit here of the sand. We actually do have a few landscaping jobs lined up for sand, which should be pretty cool. I can't wait to do that, but we actually should be loading this on the other side. So we'll be just back around here. It is a bit tricky with narrow roads. You guys can see backing up and over bushes. That's a bit unrealistic there, kind of driving into bushes. But at the same time, we got to do what works. And that is it, guys, for loading this on, which is pretty cool. Now, the police did say they'll be on scene just a little bit longer to kind of take some uh, pictures to show their supervisors the before and after of our job here today. We'll be hopping here in the police car. We definitely do want to turn off their police lights and we'll just kind of be moving this off to the side road. But now, I mean, you guys can see we'll keep the hazard lights on it. But wow, that was pretty exciting. We did overall a very good job cleaning it up in uh, really good timing. We probably could have had the rope open a little bit earlier and just kind of loaded from the grass. But at the same time, I wanted to get the dump truck kind of all cleaned up, everything like that. But we'll just kind of park this over here. Like I was saying, guys, I do have custom sheriff uh, skins coming for the Square Farms map, which should be pretty cool, along with custom also fire badges everything like that but you guys can see there is a ton of weight here on the western star rotator you guys can see the front going up just a little bit so i mean that means there is a ton of weight on it which is not the best but at the same time i mean we got to do what works you guys can see overall it's doing a really good job going up the hill this truck does have a ton of power just about to kind of go past and onto the grass there so i mean sometimes you really do have to pay attention to the roads as you are driving especially in, here in farm sim and going through the town here but we are on the gold crest valley map this is like the base map for the game but you guys can see wow take a look at that going straight up this hill no problem whatsoever i mean this western star is a pretty strong vehicle but that's pretty much it for today i think we'll switch back go get our international bring that back but you guys can see our office is this red building over here very nice big headquarters for the towing company and for now we'll just kind of park it over here but we actually do have a storage uh lot where we store our trucks so just park this over here we'll turn our lights off everything like that and we'll be switching back over here we actually did switch back to a police car and we'll be coming over here but you guys can see this international is one perfect size uh record it is kind of perfect for just semi truck hauls where we do need to tell them not really the big rollovers but i mean this still does work you guys can see i mean that is a very long like 25 30 foot trailer and this thing did a very good job but you guys can see this thing is telling it pretty well it is actually a little bit higher up than i would like the hitch to be and you guys can see it looks like it is scraping in the back also so that's a bit unrealistic how we can only have the tow truck bar at two heights like we're saying guys, I really do appreciate each and every one of you for all of the continued support here on the daily videos. It's a ton of fun and I really do appreciate it. But you guys can see that is pretty much it for today. We were successful at rolling the dump truck back over. Very challenging. We were able to salvage the JCB skids here. The only damage done to it was the buckets and then the trailer does need brand new ramps. Other than that guys, we did a pretty good job. Hope you guys enjoyed today's heavy rescue video. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and subscribe for more.